Back at it, Sports Pit, Benny and Insight today, Paulie and Teddy, Monday, August 27th. All the Benny news you need to know in less than 20 minutes. Huge series tonight starts in Houston. The Astros at home against the A's. A's a game and a half back. We'll run through that. They're 7-0-1 in their last eight series. We'll run through week three, the dress rehearsal. Bad beats, bad bets, bad for the books. A loaded show coming up with a lot of winners last week. Thanks to the Cardinals, Wyoming, and also the under last night in that uh, horror show as the Cowboys turn the ball over eight times and Arizona gets the win. How was the seminar? Oh, it was a lot of fun, Paul. It really was. And it was last year as well. So it's back-to-back years that uh, SBR has put on a really good show, the IFBC International Football Conference here uh, in Las Vegas, the Golden Nugget. You see me a little unshaven today. Yeah, it was that kind of a weekend, but tons of great info. You know, six really strong panels, and I think pretty much everyone was there was excited about what they saw. So I hope you're able to make it. If you weren't able to make it, I hope you're able to watch it on live stream. Of course, uh, you can find all the archives at sportsbookreview.com if you missed any part of the weekend festivities. A lot of fun, Polly. Everyone was asking about you, buddy. Sorry you weren't uh, a little bit under the weather. That's an understatement. I lost six pounds over the weekend. Had the flu throwing up, and I like when people ask me to do something on the weekend. I've lost uh, 20 pounds since I started that 3 a.m. shift. That's, you're like, yeah, good for you, buddy. No, not good for me. I'm like Teddy. I'm emaciated. I'm six feet tall and 170, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Uh, the, they had a record number of entries uh, in a day at the Westgate on Saturday for the Super Contest. So they're close to 2,000 there. The record was, what, 2,700 last year. Uh, I got that bet with Kelly in Vegas. I got over 3,250 entries. And wh- how about Tony Miller's contest? Seven games. Uh, I think it's everything goes, even extra board games in college football, $1,000 entry. Yeah, that's the key. They, they, they took off the totals where yep. a lot of the wise guys were just betting totals that were off of the market numbers uh, in college. So they took the totals off for college football and put the whole board on. So that's a really attractive contest for those who don't want to focus just on the NFL. And of course, like all the major contests in Las Vegas now, all you have to do is come to town once to sign up. You can get a proxy to put your picks in every week. And then if things go well, you can fly back to Vegas and collect your check at the end of the season. Amen, brother. Let's run through it. Bad beats. Baseball Saturday. Diamondbacks led 3-1 to one in the ninth. Bullpen blows it. Seattle ties it. Wins in 10, 4-3. Dodgers Padres under 7.5 every freaking week. Every game. Jansen blows it again. Dodgers were $4 with Kershaw. They won it on Turner's walk-off in the 12th, but Jansen blows another save. Phillies Saturday were $1.30. They led 6-3 to three in the 7th and lost 8-6. to six. A couple baseball beats. The football. This one was vicious. Jets, Giants over 40 and a half, 19 to 13 at the half, two field goals in the fourth quarter, six points the rest of the way, 22-16, Seattle, Minnesota under 38, 22 fourth quarter points, 21-20 final, and the Bucks lane two and a half, led by 14 at home against Detroit in the fourth quarter, lost 33-30. And that's one that we talked about on the show, saying the 2-0 and straight up in ATS teams versus the 0-2 uh, straight up teams. There's something to be said for the 0-2 teams finding a way to win the game. Look, the Lions' preseason has been pretty dismal. We'll talk about that when we get into the deep dive, talking about what happened over the weekend for real in the NFL. But from a betting standpoint, Detroit, they weren't a right side in that game. They haven't a right side in any a preseason game. But with the point spread on the line in the fourth quarter, Lions played like they cared, and that showed in the end result. Bad beat if you had Tampa minus the points. Bad for the Bucks. The Cubs, 240 up to 270 yesterday. Homer Bailey, now 1 and 17. That's the Reds' record when he starts. There was a bet to win 40 grand at the South Point here in town on the Cubbies, putting Murphy in the leadoff spot. That was a good trade. Cubs' bats came alive at the end of that series. Sunday night, Arizona plus three, went off a three point favorite in the total, 43 and a half down to 38 and a half, 27 3 final. Eight Dallas turnovers, Arizona plus 15 in the preseason. Can you imagine? Plus 15 through three games of the preseason. Yeah. No surprise Arizona's been a money winner so far, but that was, I mean, you want to talk about a bad game for the books. Betters got this one absolutely right. And we talked about this one on Friday Sports, but saying, hey, here's the quote from Jerry Jones. Dallas isn't going to play anyone. It's not like Arizona yeah. like, <laughs> did anything right. They just made took advantage of all of the Cowboys' mistakes, and there were many of them, but the bottom line, Six-point line move, four-point total move. Betters got it all right. 
bookmakers just paying out on Arizona and Dallas. And because it was a single event standalone game, that a particularly ugly preseason mm-hmm. result for bookmakers, both here in Las Vegas and offshore. Yep. I talked to one bookmaker. Sunday was a horror show. One of the worst days they've had since April. Yankees, the Sunday night game with the parlays. What happened with some of the other games? Cubs win. A ton of games like that as well. Uh, Wyoming, three and a half up to six. That was men against boys. They beat New Mexico State 29 to seven. New Mexico State had four first downs going in the final drive when they went 93 yards and minus nine rushing yards for the game. Saints took money plus one and a half, went off the favorite Uh, and they won in that one. Uh, They ran out. That's Peyton in a dress rehearsal. They also went for two on all four touchdowns, got it three times. Uh, Bad bets, Texans plus three, went off a a three-and-a-half-point favorite, and the under from 42 down to 39-and-a-half. McVay sat these uh, starters on offense again, but they won (laughs) 21-20. It's the same story with the Kansas City game, where all the money's pouring in on the Chiefs. Chiefs go plus three. They're on really plus two and a half. I think it was only one uh, plus three at the opener. But they were yep. plus two, two and a half. They got steamed up to minus six, minus six and a half on game day. Did Andy mm-hmm. Reid care? No, he didn't care. There are a lot of the other, a lot of games where teams were trying to bet against, or were betters, trying to get a bet, bet against one side. But it didn't matter because the other side wasn't all that interested either. You know, it wasn't a pretty week three of the preseason. I'll put it that way. And certainly for Kansas City backers, yeah, yeah. Look at Andy Reid. <laughs> they not amused with the Chiefs' seven-point loss on Saturday night. Well, the one thing you have to Saturday love in morning. preseason, Harbaugh does it again, but the Dolphins took money from pickup to two and a half. Twelve wins in a row in the preseason for Harbaugh. Ravens win again. Quickly, baseball, Nats, Mets under nine, down to eight and a half, not even close. 15 to nothing final. Angels plus 125 down to 110. They lost. Seattle plus 170 down to 150. Arizona beat them 5 to 2. Granky is tough at home. Yeah, he sure is. Certainly. When you're talking about weekend baseball, bad results for betters, those three absolutely stand out Seattle, LA, and then Nats that under in the 15 nothing final. Like the show? Help us keep the lights on, please. Make sure to comment, share, and subscribe to all the Sportsbook Review videos. Thanks so much. Best of luck. Enjoy the game.